Welcome back to another video of mine. This video, we're going to be talking about my February favorites. I know it's about time. I know, I know. It's been a busy month, but um, I have a substantial amount of things to cover for uh, February because uh, I did try a lot of things. I was out there. I put myself out on a limb for you guys and uh, definitely tried a couple of things and uh, really liked a lot of these things that I'm showing you obviously because it's my favorites for February and uh, we'll discuss each one and one is actually um, I didn't like it because I personally didn't try it but my canine liked it uh, so it's basically Hobson's February favorite so uh, let's get started I've got a, a lot to get done here and I don't want to keep rambling on. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I'm just going to put it out there right now. Um, before I get to the end of the video, I'm really trying to uh, get as, uh, you know, a really good boost on subscribers and people that come back and are naturally enthusiastic about uh, viewing my uh, channel and my uh, subjects and everything. I do skincare, I do health, I do some cooking, uh, a little bit of everything for everybody. Hopefully uh, you'll be amused and entertained and um, we do a lot of fun stuff here and I look at all my comments. So I really genuinely hope that you uh, subscribe and um, you know, just uh, stay tuned for all the future of the great videos that Maria has to offer. Okay, so anyway, um, getting to my February favorites. Now, this one, uh, it's got a lot of love. It's got like powder on it and everything. This is the number seven Lift and Luminate Day Cream. And I'm going to tell you in a second how I use this. Okay, let me take this off of auto so you guys can see it really well. There it is. And it's the number seven boots. Okay, um, this, <laughs> I bought it originally to use for my face. And I bought it a number of months ago. Honestly, uh, I think I bought it sometime last year. And I used it a couple of times and um, I always had something else or something better to use on my face. And that's genuinely what I wanna tell you. It's my honest opinion, obviously. You know, none of this stuff is sponsored, just to let you know. Uh, I just, it, it wasn't one of these creams that I gravitated to as far as my face is concerned. It's a very nice cream, don't get me wrong. Um, you know, it smells okay. It's a, it's, it's a nice thick consistency. I don't know if you can see that in there because I know it's, lights are blowing it out. But um, I can put a little on here. It's a really nice, thick, thick cream. Put it over here for you guys. And um, very kind of luxurious. You know that it goes into your skin. It does a lot of hydration. It does a lot of good. I'm not knocking it for anything for your face. Go ahead and use it for your face. Um, it will certainly benefit you. Uh, obviously, it's meant for the face. But I wound up not using it for my face. I wound up using it for my elbows. Well, actually, for my elbows, okay? My beautiful little baby smooth elbows. There you go, okay? And uh, more often than not, what I would do is I would take this cream, it's nice and thick, and I would slather it on my elbows, um, you know, after I got out of the shower to hydrate my elbows. It was just one of these really good creams to go to. It was the right consistency. It was thick enough. It's almost the consistency of a, of a nice hand cream. So it, it just kind of doubled for me as an elbow cream, you know, just for that dry cracked, you know, elbows. Not that I have dry cracked elbows because I always take care of my elbows. Um, but I just, I, I, for some reason, I went to my elbows with this cream instead of my face. Um, so my opinion on this is one of my February favorites because it was so cold outside. 
February has been a challenging month here in Atlanta. Um, looking out here now and it's just raining and cold and disgusting and we're into March. So you can imagine how bad February was. Uh, and I felt like I really needed hydration on my elbow and it was just instinctively, I went to this cream to put it on my elbow and to hydrate it. And so I want to let you know that for February, that's what I did. That's what I used it. That's my honest review of how I did that. Um, I don't even know how much this cream is. Honestly, I can't tell you. It's probably... Um, probably around $15, 12 to $15, maybe even a little more. So definitely expensive for an elbow cream. I mean, don't go out buying it just for your elbow, but I started to use it for my elbow and that's how I'm going to use it. Uh, I'll just finish it up because again, I had a lot of other things and other creams and stuff that I was using for my face that was adequate for my face. So it was just like the step stepchild, you know, not loved enough for my face, but definitely worthwhile for my elbow. So that's that. Along with, so for my face, for February, I have been uh, trying this Pons Rejuvenase Anti-Wrinkle Cream, and it's got AHAs and collagen in it. It says visibly reduces wrinkles in two weeks. I, you know, I, don't hold me to that. I, I haven't seen visible reductions in my wrinkles. I mean, I don't have that many wrinkles, so I couldn't attest to that, but definitely, let me take this off of auto for you guys. Definitely a very nice cream. Definitely something that I uh, turn to uh, every now and then. I didn't use it religiously every day. I used it, um, you know, here and there and everywhere, but it's got the alpha hydroxy acids in it, which is really good exfoliant for your skin. It just uh, plumps up your skin. It gets all the dead skin cells off. It's a chemical, basically a chemical type of peel. AHAs are known for chemically, um, you know, exfoliating your skin. And uh, this is one of, it smells really nice too. I know you can't smell it. There's no sniffing on it, but um, it smells really pleasant, and when I put it on it, it's a nice thick consistency. In fact, I can show you guys that. It's a really nice consistency. You see, there it goes. Uh, and I really liked, you know, putting it on, and I could tell there's AHAs in it because if you put it around your mouth and you happen to lick your lips, um, it definitely has a sour type of um almost like lemon juice soury type of taste to it i know it's don't swallow it or it's kind of yucky but that's how i know that it's got that acid in it that it's got that sour acid uh i think it's made from lactic acid if i'm not mistaken i think the ingredient in it that gives it the ahas is lactic acid so you definitely um feel it and taste it uh, so you know it's it's on there, it's working. They're not BSing you about uh, putting AHAs in there and then there's none. It's definitely in there. So I do recommend it. It's It was a really nice cream. I have used it in February as one of my go-to creams for the peel purposes of it and uh, to get those dead cells off. Uh, my skin and I really I really liked it. I've got no complaints about it. Um, I'll probably buy it again. It's pretty uh, inexpensive. You can get it at CVS and Walgreens and I believe Walmart. Any any place that sells ponds basically will have this uh, cream. And it's not a, uh, don't get me wrong, this is not a Pond's cleansing cream. So this is not one of the ones that you put on your face and then uh, wipe it off because it's a, uh, you know, a makeup remover. It isn't. This is an actual cream that you keep on your face, a day cream or a night cream. You can use it either during the day or during the night. Uh, cream to keep on your face. Uh, so that's what I wanted to tell you. I had a little burp there on my camera. I hope it's okay. All right, moving along. The next one uh, that I've been really using for February is the CoverGirl CG Smoothers. And I talked about this a number of times for you guys. Uh, I just happened to see this at, I believe it was Target and it was on sale and I picked it up and I really, really like this uh, for, um, I know, uh, I, I'm gonna smell it, there's nothing there 
for the lack of coverage. I know that's a funny thing to say, but I really like it for the lack of coverage. It's a very light cover, um, uh, I guess like a BB cream or something. It's, it's just very, very light, very light. This is not for full coverage. This is not to glam out. This is just to basically have your skin in better uh, and to go out, this applies wonderfully with your uh, fingers. It applies with a brush. Uh, it applies, I've used it, um, I think I've used it with a sponge. I, I can't recall if I did, but I know definitely I use it with my fingertips and I do use it with a, uh, with a brush, but it has a beautiful uh, color to it, just matches my skin tone perfectly. Um, I, it was on clearance for like three bucks. And I've been turning to it a lot, especially for my work. I just don't get all glammed up nowadays. I, you know, I do a little lipstick, mascara. Most days I don't do eyeshadow for work at all. And this is just, like I said, your skin and better. Let me see if it has some sunscreen in it. I don't think it does, but let me check for you guys. I'm putting on my little granny glasses here. Um... Let's see, cream, oh, by the way, it's uh, the skin color of this one, the, the tone is called Creamy Natural 720, I don't know if you see it, and um, continuous hydration skin for 11 hours, skin looks smooth and naturally beautiful, unscented, won't clog pores, dermatolog dermatologically tested. It doesn't say, guys, if it has any... Um, SPF in it. I would assume it's uh, very small amounts or negligible at this point. So I would definitely put sunscreen under this if you're uh, planning to use this, but definitely and coming up for the uh, springtime, this is going to be a great go-to, but like I said, I've already been using it. Okay. Uh, next, moving on, take a look at these. Look how pretty that is. These are gel nails. These are real gel nails. It's the Sally Hansen, and it's not the Miracle Gel. I know a lot of people use the Miracle Gel. This is actually normal gel. I bought this um, in February to try it, and there's a video. I'll, I'll link the video up here somewhere. Uh, the first time that I used it, I used uh, this color here, which was wine. Uh, let's see, wine. Da, 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 da. wine knot and that's the gel color that's the number two step it's a three-step process guys so it really is like your salon gel nails okay you do the um and i'll show you here's the number one process which is your base uh primer base and then you put your number two which is whatever color this is the wine one and i will show you in a second the um where is the one I'm using? Oh, here it is. The one I have on my fingers right now is this one. This is, uh, let me get my glasses again. It's called Teal Time. Teal Time, isn't that cute? Teal Time. Okay. Hopefully this will come in. Come on in. Come on. You know you can do it. Uh, let me take it off here. Hang on a second, guys. All right, there you go. Teal time. That's the number two. And look at look at that color, guys. I have had this on my nails. I am not kidding you. Since last Saturday, uh, that I put it on, and this is this Saturday. So we're talking seven entire days of having this nail polish on. Look at the, look at that. Look at that shine on it. And I have been doing dishes. I have been doing housework. I have been typing on these fingernails. I have been doing everything that you can do to these nails for seven days straight. And I have never had wear like this. Let me put back my um, auto stuff. I have never had wear like this on my fingernails ever, ever. I mean, unless I go to the salon. And if you're going to the salon and you're getting gel uh, nails put on, 
you know guys that you are spending upwards of 30 to 35 dollars especially for a brand new set then they got to soak it all off and start from scratch usually that's how they do it and it's usually about 30 dollars for a set of nails okay where i'm at in atlanta it's 30 and up so 30 to 35 dollars for a set of nails um I'm sure like in, you know, other major cities, it's even more expensive. But by the way, this is the number three step. Uh, it says number three on there. And that's the top coat. That's the one that makes it hard as a rock, you know, uh, and it cures. Now, um, I got one more here that I'm going to be trying. I haven't tried it yet. It's called Can't uh, Hear Myself Pink. And it's the pink bottle. Now, this is how it comes if you're just getting the actual color, okay? If you're just buying this color, the color part alone, the number two step in the three-step process, this is how it comes. And you'll go to, uh, I got this at uh, Target. You just go and there's not a lot of choices. There's, uh, Target had maybe 10 different colors, so not a huge uh, color choice. Let me just pull this forward there so you can see it um so yeah you're not you're not going to have the the caliber of choices that you have with the other sally hansen miracle gel or that you have with essie e-s-s-i-e or that you have with uh what's the other uh gel, really nice uh polishes revlon i think revlon has it or l'oreal um you're gonna get you're gonna get you know maybe ten or twelve uh, different colors right now. I don't know if Sally Hansen is gonna bring out more colors in the future or if they are not. Um, I don't know about using this process with any other um, brands other than Sally Hansen. You can try it. Um, you know, you can certainly go online and see if, uh, you know, put in Sally Hansen, uh, you know, gel nail polish. Now remember, it's not miracle gel, it's gel nail polish and see if they have anything online that maybe you can order more of. Uh, the gel polishes are expensive. They're about $13 dollars just for the number two. Okay. Just for the number two step. Uh, I bought it along with the, uh, do I have the, no, I don't have it down here. I thought I bought the LED lamp um, down here to show you guys, but it was a set. It had the original wine color here with the two other, you know, steps, the bottom coat and the top coat and this color and their Sally Hansen specific LED lamp. Um, and I got it on clearance at Walgreens for about $29.99. Normally, I think it runs about $49. It's not cheap. It really isn't cheap. But it's, you know, startup costs. Once you buy that, you just buy the number two colors um, for change up. And then you can, you know, you reuse your bottom and your top coat until you need new bottles. And they last you quite a while because you're using very very thin layers I learned that too uh, for the actual layering of the uh, of the gel nails okay what you do is um, and and this is not a tutorial on how to do gel nails obviously and you can look at the one that I did you know my first impression and how I used it but basically you know you each time that you put one of these steps on and um, and your color step is a two, you know, you do that twice. You uh, put your hands under the lamp, the LED lamp, and you turn it on for 30 seconds. It's got a timer. And in 30 seconds, it basically bakes. I, I don't want to say bakes because that's kind of like, it's not going to burn you or anything. You don't feel any, any heat or anything like that. It's just the lamp. You put your hands under there and it bakes your uh, nail color onto your nails and it makes it a hard hard shellac it makes it really really tough and hard so when you do this your it doesn't it doesn't chip off it grows out but it doesn't chip off uh, not that i've seen it okay i've used now the the wine color obviously that was my first one and then i've used this blue one and i have yet to have it chip off they do not chip off they grow out but they do not chip off i mean Again, I just, I love it and it's shiny and it's beautiful and um, 
you know, it's well worth the extra money for me because of not having to deal with awful looking nails that are chipping off, not having to deal with uh, babying my nails and they're breaking. My nails are pretty thin and they tend to break also. These are keeping them so well protected. I have not had any nails break off or anything. I just, I can't say enough good things about it, guys. So again, if you want to give it a try, uh, Sally Hansen Gel Nail Polish kit it's a kit it comes in a big box and uh and then you can go ahead if you like it uh start adding little by little the other colors you know to this process and i plan to i plan to really do this uh for a number of times now i did try out as you guys know in other videos i did try out the nail uh, press on nails and they were fine for an occasion I really liked it. They did last for quite a while on my nails. They last up to like five or six days without one popping off. I think almost seven. But the thing, the issue I have with them is they are longer. Uh, you don't, you know, unless you file them down all the way down and then, you know, it, it kind of doesn't serve its purpose. Why would you buy really nice press on nails if you're going to file them all the way down. Uh, I couldn't type with them at all. The only reason I had those nails on for that length of time is because I literally had them on for during the Christmas uh, break. So I didn't have to type at all with them. Or if I typed at home, it was very slowly and I could take my time. But I didn't have to perform uh, at, a, at a job location with, uh, you know, my manager staring over me so um yeah so that's why i could go ahead and and wear them and they looked really lovely i mean i had no complaints about the press on nails but this sucker uh, i can keep my nails short they're protected i can type away like a crazy nut on my fingers and uh nothing it's not it's not coming off okay so that's enough of that one now oh along with um the nail I got this as a um, gel polish remover tool. Okay, this is specifically for, and I'm going to take it out of the box now, for removing gel polish. So when you're soaking your nails off, do you see how this is uh, kind of like angled, like a little spatula, but angled? This is so cool, and it works because I tried it when I took off the wine color um, gel. What you do is you soak, uh, you know, you soak your uh, nails in a little acetone if you, you know, just for a few minutes. And then um, you just basically go ahead and kind of, it pops it off. And I know I can't, I can't demonstrate it right now because obviously I'm, I don't want to scratch my, uh, my nail polish. But uh, it basically, you just put it a little bit like underneath the, um, the coating and it just lifts it off. It gives it enough of a little boost, um, you know, against the pressure there where it just lifts it off very gently. And the whole thing just kind of peels off very nicely. I really, really liked this tool. And uh, that's why I'm showing it to you for February because that's where I started using it. Um, and I will continue to use it for you know taking off my gel nail polish it's not really for regular nail polish it's definitely for gel nail polish and I, w I wouldn't trust it with acrylic i know acrylic you have to really soak off and you have to that you have to take off professionally because you know um they have to soak it off and they have to use the uh, bit drills you know to to drill off the top and you know really shave it off but love this so if you see it anywhere around town gel polish sensational it's called a uh, removal tool and i believe i paid i don't i don't think i paid more than you know eight nine dollars for it so i'm trying to remember where i got it i think it was i think it was target i think i think i get a lot of things at target okay um now hobson hobson uh you know is one of my favorite little doggies on the whole planet he's a uh, yorkie pomeranian mix he's adorable i'll put a little you know pictures of him up there if you haven't seen him yet um and i just happened to come across this crave uh dog food 
at, uh, I believe it was at Publix that I got it. And it was just sitting next to the Purina one. And I started reading the ingredients. I'm kind of a, a sucker about, um, you know, obviously getting really good food for my dogs and stuff. And this one, what I liked about it, and let me put on my glasses again. It had, um, let's see, it has no, uh, it contains no chicken byproduct meat. No corn, wheat, or soy, no artificial flavors, no artificial preservatives. Real chicken is the first ingredient, very important. Well, this is chicken flavor. Um, and it says 99% of the protein is from animal sources to support strong uh, uh, lean body. And it's grain-free, no wheat, corn, or any other grain. And it says wolves and modern dogs thrive on a diet of high-quality animal protein 100% satisfaction guaranteed uh this is again it's called crave and i'm trying to see who actually makes it uh, it's by mars i'm sorry distributed by mars pet pet care us and um trademark mars i guess like the mars bar like the mars candy okay uh incorporated and affiliated okay so uh yeah this is a pate when i say pate i mean it's got a it's got a good water content in it it's nice and fluffy almost like a souffle um and you know open it up this is chicken and beef and then i've got um there's just plain beef pate and then i've got chicken pate and then it also comes with um, these type of little tubs. So for a smaller dog, or if you just wanna give this as a little side treat to a bigger dog, this is turkey and lamb. And it's, you know, it's just one of these uh, things that you pull up and stuff. It's kind of like the little Caesar size. And then this is the uh, turkey pate. And it is definitely Hobson endorsed because he loves it. He absolutely scarfs this down. He loves it. Um, I've seen, you know, no ill effects whatsoever. I study his little, you know, bowel movements like a doctor. So I always look at, oh, my hair is all over the place. I always look at um, what a you know, if I ever give him another type of treat or any new type of food or any new tri type of, you know, side, you know, little appetizer or whatever, I always look at him on walks to make sure that he's not had diarrhea or he's not constipated or anything like that. He's had perfect bowel movements. I know TMI, but, you know, us pet lovers, we understand these things. We're pet fur babies. Our fur babies are very important to us. And um, so I definitely did not see any ill effects off of his, uh, my hair is bothering me, isn't it? Uh, off of his, you know, little tummy or anything like that, walking him. He's been very happy with it. He goes right to this can. He absolutely loves it. So, and it, and it's not more expensive than anything else, like a, the Purina One or um, any of the other uh, brands out there. It's readily available at Publix. I haven't seen it at Kroger yet, but I have seen it at Publix. That's where I got it. And it's definitely available at uh, PetSmart because I got a whole um, series of these today. As a matter of fact, I went out to PetSmart and I bought um, a lot of the doggies and the cat uh, food today. So that's where I go to buy, you know, most of my products is PetSmart. Okay. Uh, the last thing I wanted to show you guys, and um, this is just the ChapStick Total Hydration. And I have been uh, coming back to this. This is a, a love that I have around. Um, but this is one that I just gravitated to and came back to um, and used. It's just got a wonderful wonderful smell to it. I love it. I wish I could put it on my mouth right now, but I've got, you know, some lipstick on, but, um, it's just moist. This is called fresh citrus. I don't know if you can read that, but fresh citrus again, chapstick, uh, loved it. Um, you know, especially for the, for the really bad, uh, winter months that we've had and especially February and I'm still looking out there. It's raining now. Um, I've been using, chapstick and other stuff and the aqua four on my lips 
religiously, just religiously to keep them hydrated. Really, really needed it. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. And again, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, I hope that you join me and join us as a group, as a community on YouTube because uh, I love to bring new items to you guys. I love to be the guinea pig and try everything out for you guys. And then if I like it or not, I give my honest opinion whether or not anything is sent to me, which hardly ever happens. But hey, if it does, that's good, you know. Uh, but I do uh, review everything 99% um, of the time. I'm never sponsored. I'm not of the caliber to be sponsored. Uh, but um, if I find things around town that are healthy, that are skin happy for you guys, that are nutritionally sound for you guys, I will pick it up. I'll try it on me. I'll try it on my family. I'll try it on my pets. And if we live to talk about it, then you'll know about it. So it will be up here and we will be definitely filling you in on our findings okay i love you guys be well be happy be the best that you can be and you do you i love you all blessings to everybody and i will see you in my next video bye